Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Answer Some Questions. As always, post questions below, and I shall answer them next week. Let's get started. Cross Noble asks, what's your favorite Metal Gear Solid game? I don't really have one. Um, I think they're all great. Um, I would guess... I honestly cannot answer that question. I think they're all fantastic. Um, I also... I also uh, really enjoy the first two Metal Gears, the um, first two Metal Gears, the, before Metal Gear Solid, before the whole solidness to it, be, um, and it was just Metal Gear. Those are actually quite good as well. But uh, if I was to say my favorite, I cannot do that. I think they're all fantastic in their own little ways. Um, Mega Pokemon asks, "Have you ever heard of Yu-Gi-Oh? And if so, do you like it? And if not, would you go look at it?" I think you would kind of have to be living under a rock to never have never heard of Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think it's quite good actually. Like I've actually, it was about a year ago. I actually kind of like started rewatching it, and um, I like I like watched like fifth the um episode fifty or something because I think about that time it kind of loses its no at least for me it kind of loses its novelty because like Yu-Gi-Oh for me I I only like I, when I was like growing up I only think I really watched. The um bits like when they were on on the island and stuff, and so when they get off, it just kind of uh, they just kind of like have to get some plot devices from elsewhere and all, and um, it like starts to focus a lot on like the the Pharaoh and Yugi and stuff like that, and I don't really care about that to be honest. I just really just care about like the whole island bit, where it's like the tournament and all. But uh, it's pretty good. As for like the actual card game, I never really played it, but uh, I. I had some friends, like, who played it a lot, like, I was, like, in elementary school, I think, and, uh, I remember, like, at recess, instead of actually, like, playing and stuff, there was, like, some picnic tables, and I would just, like, watch, like, some people, a lot, a lot of my recesses for, like, fifth grade or some of that were just me just watching people play Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is kind of sad when I would think about it, but it was fun at the time. Plus Starkiller101 asks, why are you such a fucking yank? Well, because I, sadly, as everyone else, was born in the location that my mother was when she had me, so, and that just happened to be in America. So, yeah, I'm a fucking yank. Opponent fan asks, why did it take you so long to upload our Resident Evil Code Veronica videos? Uh, basically, Okay, basically, the main reason, I, I, I will admit, like, most people probably just ignore questions like this, but I will admit that out of all all, of all my, the Let's Plays on the door right now, 13, Inigo Prophecy, and, uh, Code Veronica, Code Veronica is definitely the one that I kind of take the most time t to, like, record, mainly because I've never played it before, right? Because it is blind, and, uh, I have to kind of, like, record it when I want to record it, like, when I'm, cause, and in the Nicole Prophecy in 13, I can kind of say, okay, I know where I am right now, if I started recording, I kind of have an idea of where I could get to before I stop recording, and Code Veronica, I don't know what's going to happen, so it's kind of like, I have to kind of be, be, be prepared for when I do Code Veronica, and I just kind of, I don't know, like, not, not dissing Code Veronica or anything, but, out of all the Resident Evil games I've LP'd, um, Resident Evil 1, 2, 2's Claire B scenario, and yes, I'm, I'm, I'm counting that as a different game, and 3, Code Veronica is definitely the one that I'm just, I'm just having, like, the, uh, most, uh, time getting in, like, the most trouble getting into, I, I don't know what it is, like, I'm, it's a good game and all, it just hasn't had that, like, oh my god, I really want to find out what happens next, like, sensation to it, sadly, but, uh, and it is blind, like, so, I kind of, I'm not really recording it as a let's play, I'm kind of just, like, recording my first time playing it, so, like, in Indigo Prophecy, I don't, I don't just say, hey, I want to play some Indigo Prophecy, I might as well record it, no, because if I wanted to play some Indigo Prophecy, I just wouldn't record it, like, I have to have a feeling to record Indigo Prophecy, but with Re Resident Evil, I can't just have like the feeling I want to play some Resident Evil. I have to have that feeling to record it as well, if that makes sense. But uh, 
yeah, hopefully there are more there'll be more Code Veronica coming soon. Uh yeah. Carnivorous films. Do you play any non video game non video games not like board games, CCGs or paper D and D? Um, not really. Uh like I kind of do play some card games, like I was, I was talking about. Like, while I, I'm not really big into Yu-Gi-Oh, I actually did used to play it a little bit. Like, not really, like, hardcorely, though. Um, I, at times, um, participate in, uh, Magic the Gathering tournaments at my, uh, local comic shop. So, uh, I guess that counts. And, uh, as for, like, tabletop games, I, I know most of, like... The, the basics of D&D, and I played it a few times, and uh, I'm not really major into it, and I've also played some Warhammer 40k. Um, Carnivorous Films, did you enjoy the Shinmu games? Would you, I would love to see a let's play of the, Shin, of the of Shinmu from you, dude. The Shinmu series is one I will admit is a fantastic series. Um, would I ever let's play it? You know, maybe. It, it is one of those things where it is like one of those just amazing se games. And my thoughts on the, the new Shinmu that everyone seems to be hating, I don't really know much about it. I don't really know why people are hating on it so much. As a, a friend of mine once said, why the hate? But uh, apparently it's like on the, on the iPhone or something, which I can kind of see. Yeah. I, I don't really know why people don't like it that much. I'm sure someone will like comment and tell me exactly why everyone's hating on it, but new Shinmu game called Shinmu Town, only for mobile phones. Yeah, I can kinda see why people would get like upset over that, but the thing is, you have to realize, mobile phones are capable of a lot of stuff now. It's not like just like some 8-bit games like they used to do like in 2004. They can actually do a lot of good stuff now. So, I'm not gonna give up hope on, on this new Shinmu game. I, I'm, I think it might be pretty cool. You never know. But as for Let's Playing it, uh, maybe. If I ever got in the mood. Eagle Solidus asks... Eagle Solidus, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. He says, what is your favorite Metal Gear Solid character? Or Metal Gear character, should I say? Mm, probably Big Boss. Because he is like one of the... He's like the original hero. And, uh... Kind of like he's like the original villain, or not the original, the original hero, the modern villain. It's kind of, kind of cool. But I, I do think Big Boss is quite, he's the most likable of, of the characters. Like Snake, while he's the main character, he's like desensitized to everything, hard ass, and like Big Boss actually has quite a lot of emotions. Like, so Big Boss definitely, or probably not definitely. There might be someone else I'm, th I'm th not thinking of. Lobster Fang asks, if you could if you could fill a swimming pool with anything but water or money, what would you fill it with? I fill it with like, hmm, popcorn actually, because popcorn's freaking delicious. 